I'm Erman Lepley from Beaver Springs. My great uncle, Erman E. Lepley, you know, I'm his namesake, who was killed in the First World War. Back in those times, I mean, uh, times weren't, uh, weren't really good. And uh, they went and served their country you know, whenever they were called and uh, tried to make it a better place for all of us to, uh, to be free and have our chance to, opportunities to pursue things that we wanted to. He taught for several years before he was drafted in the draft for the First World War and then was shipped overseas after some training at, uh, I guess it was Camp Meade in Maryland. And uh, he was over there for a few weeks and then he was uh, sent to the, to the front, front lines and he was there maybe about six weeks until he was killed in uh, action on September the 26th, uh, 1918. Machine gun team and actually uh, uh, he was the feeder for the machine gun and the gunner. It was uh, Joe Falker. It was a hometown uh, boy, or you know, from Beer Springs. They were grew up and raised together, and happened to be drafted and went across uh, and became a machine gun team. And uh, it was during one of those uh, uh, attacks that uh, he was he was shot and. Uh, uh, the way I understood, he only lived a couple hours that, uh, uh, after, it was, after it was shot. And then they buried him right near the battlefield. Then at that time, they uh, didn't bring the, all of them back or whatever. They, they took, uh, I guess, for convenience sake or whatever. And uh, in the war, why they buried him close by. And then it was. About three years later, the family had requested that uh, his body be brought back, and they brought him back to, in 1921. It was about three years after the after he was killed. The community just uh, came about to recognize him. I mean, for his uh, duty as a country and uh, his given his his life, and also at that time. Uh, the Germans used uh, gas uh, to uh, kill the enemy, and uh, at one point there they were under attack, gas attack too, and uh, they had all been issued uh, gas masks, and uh, Ehrman had his own, but his uh, foxhole buddy couldn't get his own, and uh, so he helped him get it on, and they said that uh, when he came back, uh, his buddy came back, he said that that's really saved his life, that uh, if it wouldn't have been for him, why, he wouldn't have come back either. A fellow servicemen uh, applied for the, have a, a legion, uh, you know, established American legion, and it was post number 23, so it was one of the earliest uh, in the United States. The legion uh, member, uh, had seen at my homestead, he saw the picture of my great uncle. It always hung in a uh, prominent place in the, in our home, and he seen that. And then uh, he came and asked me if I knew about the picture. He said the Legion didn't have anything to uh, uh, show from uh, from uh, my great uncle Erman. And, uh, he thought that'd be nice, and so. They had a dedication service uh, for it, and we presented it. And, uh, uh, then, in two years ago, the local township has created a war memorial, and uh, they had the, him as uh, one of the recipients of the dedication there on the, one of the stones for uh, at the war memorial for. Uh, being the one from the township was killed in the First World War. Well, uh, since I'm his namesake, I mean, I guess it means more to me maybe than uh, some of the rest, although I don't, I'm only speaking for myself. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think I'll try and pass it on down through the rest of the family as, 
you know, time goes by, and uh, I just thought I'd like to get his story out. <laughs>